Hello everyone, from New Zealand, the provinces of Canada, all the way to the Philippines, and all around the world, I am your narrator, Paranormal Poet, and welcome back to another Spooky Saturday. If you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Story 25 Black Dress Have you ever been walking down a lonely road with nothing but the eerie shadows that get cast every now and then? And then you see it. A tall figure fused to the darkness, only being barely lit by a dim street light. You feel your heart beating out of your chest as more of this figure takes shape. The instant jolt of chills begin creeping under your skin. This scenario happens to many people around the world who experience haunting apparitions. In this story, a seemingly normal day at work transforms into a nightmare. But this isn't an ordinary nightmare. This is real life. This is her story. Sandra's story. Hello, paranormal poet. My name is Sandra, as you already know, and I want to give you this terrifying encounter I wish I hadn't seen. This happened a few years ago. I was at my former job, and upon reaching the client's house, I felt a strange, heavy feeling in my chest, but it wasn't a new occurrence. I don't remember a time when I didn't feel like something was a bit off. Anyway. It was around midday, and then I began to relax around the couch, tea in hand, and I had started watching YouTube videos to take my mind off of work, when suddenly I felt the strongest headache I've ever had. It was so abrupt, and the pain was debilitating. Glad I was sitting down, otherwise I would have fallen over. The summer heat can be bad here, but... The weather was fair that day, so it wasn't that. I put the phone down and give the videos a break to reach for some water. Perhaps I was dehydrated, so I stood up and walked to another room to fetch some water. When I faced the living room window, I was face to face with a woman standing right up against the glass. A woman with dark hair and a black dress. What scared me most was not being able to see her eyes, or much of anything on her face. I gasped and turned around to see the same faceless woman standing right beside my father, who was relaxing on the sofa with the client. She was pointing at him. I did a triple check to make sure what I saw was genuine. Right before my eyes, the woman was nowhere to be seen. My dad doesn't recall seeing her, or know who she even is. But one thing for sure, that apparition was beyond eerie, and will remain in my mind until one day I find my closure and figure out who she could have been. If you enjoyed this video, and you are new here, definitely please hit that subscribe button as we do this every Saturday. I truly appreciate you all for being here. See you next Saturday.